Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Toy Story event uh, that we have going on for this entire month of July. Now, I wanted to do this video uh, when the <laughs> event first came out, um, but due to everything that was going on uh, in my life and stuff like that, I just wasn't able to get the video out right away. But at the very least, uh, I did get a stream right away upon the release of the event itself and i was able to go through the event and get like the jesse medals and stuff so pretty much the advice i'm going to be giving in this video is going to be more or less the same exact type of advice that i gave in my live stream but without further ado let's get started with the video so starting off with the actual banners that we're getting with the toy story event there's only been like two or three things so far in regards to the actual toy story event for this month that's happened so far the first of them being the woody and buzz banners that we currently have that are last the entire month of july um and which can get a six and seven star version of woody and buzz who are both prime medals now, in terms of effects, their abilities are the exact same thing as the Key Art 17 Prime Metal that we got like a few weeks ago or so. Just the speed and power version instead. Now, simply because of the fact that these are Prime Metals, uh, my stance on them hasn't changed at all whatsoever. I still recommend that if you're able to, and remember, you have an entire month to do this, so there's no rush to do these right away. Um, but what I recommend trying to pull at least once from each of these just to guarantee your medal, and then you can move on from there. And there's actually a few reasons for this, okay? Um, number one being that you don't need a seven star version of these medals. You don't need a fully gilted version of these medals. You don't need traits on these medals, okay? Quite literally, just the vanilla plain copy uh, metal alone can take you a long ways away um, just by itself without any extra stuff whatsoever. Uh, this is currently what I'm doing as well and I'm able to get really nice use out of it even in like PvP and such uh, just with the plain vanilla metal with no dots, no nothing on it at all whatsoever. Not even a skill. Uh, you can literally get away with a lot of stuff with just by himself. Another reason is also because of the fact that because these are Toy Story exclusive type metals um, but they're also prime medals at the same time. I have no idea if these medals will actually be able to be seen again in future banners. Um, so like for example, kind of like how the Prime Axle and Prime uh, Key Art 17 medal are still able to be seen within other 7 star banners and such. I have no idea if these medals will actually be able to get that same type of treatment or not simply because of the fact that they are part of the Toy Story collaboration event and typically collaboration event medals are typically only available during the time that the actual collaboration uh, is happening. So it's a very good chance, especially because of the fact this banner lasts for the entire month as well, there's a very good chance that we might not ever actually see Woody or Buzz again after uh, the Toy Story collaboration event has ended. Uh, so guaranteeing at least one copy of each medal once is honestly not a bad idea, um, especially if you don't have the new uh, Kyrie or Shion EX Plus medals just yet. Another reason why I say to just pull once from these banners uh, just to guarantee the medal and ignore the banner for the rest of the time is because of the fact that you can get back the jewels fairly easily right now. Uh, just just the daily login missions and login bonuses alone combined uh, in a week can get you about 3,000 jewels, which is enough to pull from one of these banners, okay? Um, and even better because of the fact that these banners do last for the entire month, you can even wait until after this month's Organization 13 event has gone by before you can even pull from these medals if you really want to. There's actually another reason why uh, I suggest to pull for these medals as well, um, but actually kind of ties in with some other points, um, which is going to be the fact that there is more than likely going to be a high score challenge event uh, sometime this month, most likely I'm expecting at the very end of the month, um, just because of the fact that whenever, at least that we've seen so far, especially during the second anniversary, whenever they have anything that lasts for an entire month, they like to drop bombshells near the end of the month because that's when they know they'll get the most value out of players because they'll usually like throw a bunch of really good bait throughout the month. Okay, and chances are that's kind of what I'm expecting that they'll be doing more or less with the high score challenge uh, that I am like almost 100% betting is going to be happening for the Toy Story collaboration event. 
Um, solely because of the fact that every single time in the past so far, there has been a collaboration event within this game. Um, there is 100% always a high score challenge followed up with it uh, to go alongside the collaboration event. So chances are these medals are going to be counted as assist percentage medals for that high score challenge. Now after saying that, chances are like we saw with the previous prime medals, these Toy Story medals are actually only going to be counting as assist percentage medals for the high score challenge if they are 7 star medals. Uh, seven star versions of the of their medals and stuff. So because of that, what I highly recommend is that you still only pull once and they ignore the banner. But for the rest of the month, as much as you can, try and save as many of your uh, Fantasia Mickey B's magic mirrors so that way you can fully guilt the medal if you need to. Tier four blue fairy medals as well. So this way, at the very least, if you really need to. You can fully guilt the Toy Story Medal of Choice. You can use the Magic Mirrors to guarantee get it to that max uh, guilt percentage. So that way you can evolve it into a Tier 7 Medal. Okay. This way, so at the very least, you can at least guarantee that one of these uh, Toy Story Medals will be considered an Assist Percentage Medal for the Collaboration event without actually having to dump a ton of jewels into the the banner itself as well another thing that i want to point out real quick too that i'm also expecting could very easily happen as well kind of similar to what they did with the uh final fantasy record keeper collaboration event that they did for us was that i'm partially expecting them to have some avatar boards uh for the toy story collaboration to be popping up for uh sometime this month most likely near the end of the month as well pulling only once from these banners so that way you can save for like the avatar boards as well wouldn't be a bad idea so aside from the banners themselves we do have an event going on as of right now that we can actually do to get some farmable medals here you have seven stages that you can work on where when you complete the first objective within each stage, you're guaranteed to get a copy of the jesse medal now this is what the medal itself looks like and just to read its effect real quick it is a magic upright medal tier three and for one turn it lowers the target's upright defense and reverse defense by one and fills three gauges it is aoe cost zero gauges and has a 3.02 multiplier this is at six star by the way now in terms of this actual event i i have some mixed feelings about this i mean the metal the metal is kind of basic to be honest there's already a whole lot of better effects compared to jesse she is the first metal to provide both an upright and reverse defense within the same metal though so that's that's pretty cool but realistically she's not very useful because of the fact she only provides one tier of debuff for each of them one of the things that i kind of don't really like too much is the fact that you can only get the metal uh, up to seven times because you can only guarantee it once per stage and there's only seven stages uh, to me personally that kind of bothers me because we haven't had a legitimate farmable metal in like a very long time um, I honestly, I think to be honest, the last farmable medal we actually received was Flash during the repeat uh, Zootopia event that we got for Union Cross um, some like many months ago. And I think this is Square Enix's way of trying to still give us some type of like farmable medal without actually letting us be able to farm, which in my opinion, I think is stupid because honestly, to be honest, Jesse is not that great metal. <laughs> She's honestly pretty bad. She's to be, for a player like myself, I would only ever actually really use Jessie if I can get her to have extra attack. And if I can't have a way to guarantee that I can get extra attack on her, uh, then like to me it's like th there's almost no point for me to even like obtain this medal aside from like collection purposes. I, I don't really enjoy it in that aspect. It also takes away from like the free to play players and the new and the beginner players uh, enjoyability and, and like being able to get that type of aspect as well. So like I don't know. I don't I, re I really don't like that. I feel like they really are just trying to cut away uh, from farmable medals at this point by from showing this and I don't I don't really know how to, how to feel about that. Last but not least though, we are getting a Toy Story booster uh, for Toy Story medals throughout the months. So every day that you log in for the entire month of July, you get a Toy Story booster that gives you 1% booster. So essentially by the end of July, I believe you should have about like a 33 or something uh, percent if you log in every day 
a 33 or so percentage in terms of Toy Story boosters. And that's solely because of the fact that we did get a couple of the boosters um, before July actually started. So if you logged in beforehand as well, you, and you can log in all the way through July, you should be able to get something like that. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload a new video such as this one. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comments, and concerns in the comment section down below. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.